Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to simplify a radical expression that is square root of 7 minus square root of 7 plus square root of 7 minus so on this. This goes on forever. Let's go ahead, name it as x. Before we start the solution, I am asking you please subscribe to my channel and give your feedback on the solution provided. Without wasting time, let's start the solution. Let's observe the question. We have square root of 7 minus square root of 7 plus square root of 7 minus. So we have a square roots. If you are observe closely, we can say that this x is greater than 0. This x is greater than 0. Because square root of any number is always greater than 0. That's why our x value is greater than 0. And also if you observe here, root 7 is subtracting this something. Root 7 is subtracting this term. So that means x value is definitely is less than root 7. So what you observe here x is greater than 0 and x is less than root 7. If you write in the domain expression it should be 0 less than x less than root 7. That means the x value lies in between 0 less than x means is more than 0 that is this x lies in between 1 to less than root 7 value. Root 7 value is approximately equal to 2.65. So that means our x value lies in between 1 to is less than 2.65 means is 2.64. But we don't know the exact value. We need to find that. Let's find the exact value of x. We have x equal to square root of 7 minus square root of 7 plus if you observe this term this continuous term this term is exactly same as this whole term this term i written as x now we have x equal to square root of 7 minus root 7 plus x in the rhs we have a radical sign eliminate that do square on both sides then here square root and square root gets cancelled then you are left with x square equal to 7 minus square root of 7 plus x. This expression we can write it as 7 minus x square that is equal to square root of 7 plus x. Again we have a radical sign. To eliminate that again do square on both sides. Here 2 and here square root gets cancelled then you are left with 7 plus x. And here 7 minus x square whole square. The LHS it is in the form of a minus b whole square. The formula is a square plus b square minus 2ab. So our a square means a square value 49 plus b square. b square is x square that is x square whole square. It gives x power 4 minus 2 times a is 7 and b is x square. So it gives 14x square. That is equal to 7 plus x. If you write in order, first comes x power 4 minus 14x square and we have x term. When you bring it left hand side, it plus x, it becomes minus x plus 49. This if you send to left hand side, it becomes minus 7. So 49 minus 7 which gives plus 42 is equal to 0. This is a biquartic equation. Using synthetic division method, I am going to find the roots of this biquartic equation. This is a biquartic equation, that's why you will get four roots. So now we are using the synthetic division method. For that, take coefficients of all the terms. So x power 4 coefficient is 1. Then x cube coefficient is not there, so write as 0. Then x square coefficient is minus 14. Then x coefficient is minus 1, constant value is 42. First this 1, bring it as it is. Now constant value is 42. First find the factors of this 42. What are the factors of this 42? 2 times 21, 3 times 14 
and then 6 times 7 these are the factors of 42 you have to take the least number which is 2 so do multiplication diagonally then get 2 times 1 is 2 then here do addition 0 plus 2 is 2 then again do multiplication diagonally 2 times 2 is 4 then minus 14 plus 4 which gives minus 10 then again do multiplication diagonally you will get 2 times minus 10 is minus 20 minus 20 minus 1 is minus 21 then again do diagonally 2 times 21 that is minus 42 plus 42 minus 42 which gives 0 remainder is 0 now again you have to do synthetic division method now you have a constant term minus 21 so minus 21 find the factors of minus 21 so that it is minus 3 times 7 so these are the factors of 21 so let's take the minus 3 the first two, this one bring it as it is then do multiplication diagonally minus 3 times 1 is minus 3 then 2 minus 3 which gives minus 1 then again do multiplication diagonally minus 3 times minus 1 is plus 3 minus 10 plus 3 which gives minus 7 then again do multiplication diagonally which gives minus 10 minus plus 3 times 7 is 21 so minus 21 plus 21 the remainder is 0 what are the roots we get 2 is our first root and the second root is minus 3 obviously this equation is a quadratic equation so 1 times x square minus x minus 7 so this is a quadratic equation using quadratic formula now we are going to find the remaining two roots of this equation use quadratic formula minus b plus r minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a here a value is 1 b value is minus 1 c value is minus 7 substitute these values in this formula then x equal to minus of minus 1 plus or minus square root of b square means minus 1 whole square minus 4 a c by 2 times 1 is 2 so x value is 1 plus or minus square root of 29 by 2 x equal to 1 plus square root of 29 by 2 and the last root is 1 minus square root of 29 by 2 these are our four roots just look at the our domain of this expression 0 less than x less than root 7 so that means our x value lies in between 1 to 2.64 so in between values only you have to consider and here we don't have any negative values so that's why this solution we are not considering this is the invalid solution and observe the third root that is x equal to 1 plus square root of 29 by 2 to find the exact value of this first you need to find the root 29 value root 29 is a non-perfect square now i'm going to show you a super trick for non-perfect square roots the super trick is square root of x plus or minus y that is equal to square root of x plus or minus y by 2 root of x here x is a perfect square and y is a non-perfect square that means you are 29 you have to convert into x plus y that means you have to convert into one perfect square number and another non-perfect square number you have to convert like that then you use this formula for that you need to find out nearest perfect square of this 29 so 29 nearest perfect square number is 25 so you had you need to write in terms of 25 plus 4 which gives 29 so here we are using plus operation what is the formula root x that is root 25 plus y y means 4 by 2 root x that is 2 root 25 root 25 the value is 5 plus here 2 times 1 2 times 2 gets cancelled so 2 by 5 so that is equal to 5 plus 0 0.4 which gives 5.4 so root 29 is approximately equal to 5.4 so this is a super trick for finding the non-perfect square numbers 1 plus root 29 value is 5.4 by 2 that is equal to 
1 plus 5.4 which gives 6.4, 6.4 divided by 2 which gives 3.2 and this is the third root and the last root is 1 minus square root of 29 by 2 so that is 1 minus 5.4 by 2 that is equal to 1 minus 5.4 which use minus 4.4 divided by 2 which use minus 2.2 third root is 3.2 fourth root is minus 2.2 and our x value lies in between 1 to 2.64 only and here negative values are not considered so the second root is not considered this is invalid solution and the fourth root also not not considered this is also invalid solution and the third root 3.2 this is also not considered because our x value lies in between 1 to 2.64 but 3.2 is more than 2.64 that's why this is not valid the leftover solution only is x equal to 2 this is the final answer if you have learned something from this video give it a thumbs up and drop the comments in the comment section please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching